I've been called into Sheffield Park to investigate a potential summer branch drop. Big limb has fallen out from the top of the tree and taken out a couple of limbs. There's quite a bit of damage. So I have with me Klaus Mattock's body language of trees and he's actually got some useful information in this and this is what I'm really going to be looking for is this sort of transverse fracture a meter or two out from the trunk of the tree that then progresses into a longitudinal split so that would be one of the signs that it is a summer branch drop I'd say this is probably about a meter and a half out the upper side of this branch would have had a lot of tension wood, a specialised kind of reaction wood that makes the branch pretty strong against gravity. Unfortunately, in periods of drought, that tension wood becomes dehydrated and brittle and more likely to crack and split. So I've been looking around for a piece that mirrors what I saw up in the top of the tree and this looks pretty much like it. So there's this pattern here where You've got this kind of tran transverse crack closer to the trunk of the tree, followed by this longitudinal progression. And that seems to be quite a common pattern in summer branch drop, different to a limb that's sheared out from the trunk of the tree. And while it looks a bit daunting, you know, it's done a lot of damage to the, to the branches below, it's quite a natural phenomena in trees. It's their way of adapting to stress and alleviating stress. So it's not necessarily a reason to remove what otherwise is a healthy tree. 